Hey guys, the Night Flyer here, and welcome back to DDLC Plus. Now, I've done a bunch of stuff, and obviously I've gotten, like, the rest of the side story, so we got Respect, Balance, Reflection, Self-Love. As far as I've read, you have to complete all of them to unlock the last one, so... Yeah, there's that. But, first, I would like to direct your attention towards the mail, which I got yesterday, it was right here. So it says, I'm on leave the rest of the week. Contact Ravi if you need to schedule server time, but I expect my jobs to run a few days since we've collected so much data this week. How about we arrange a meeting to discuss the results when I return? And of course, this is from the Metaverse Enterprise Solutions. And here we have another new one that I got yesterday, Side Stories. Thank you to everyone who worked so hard on the control simulation. I can't imagine how tedious it must have been to so delicately hide Monica's alleviated permissions from her without disrupting our connection to the VM. Just to clarify, all the recordings labelled side stories are part of the control simulation, right? I'm noticing some details of the characters' lives here and there that differ a little bit from those in VM1, even trivial ones. Is it part of the butterfly effect from some of Monica's more fundamental changes, or is it a result of her just messing around with the other characters in VM1 as her own experiment? or for fun. So if I'm keeping track, we have, what, like five different universes t in total, with three or four of them created and then destroyed by Monica, of course. It's funny because I keep wanting to speculate on which one is the real universe, but in reality, they are all, uh, they all are, as real as ours is anyway. I actually didn't read that yesterday. Holy, that, what the hell? What are they on about? Aren't all the side stories meant to be like a tie-in big story to like the main uh, DDLC story? Because like, as far as I'm aware, when we played last time, Trust is them two meeting for the first time. This is when Yuri comes into club. I'm guessing Natsuki's going to come in soon. That's why she's there. And then Natsuki's going to interact with Sayori in some way. Monica and Yuri are going to be left alone again. And then Yuri and Natsuki are next. And obviously there's another story that we don't see there. I just thought I'd point that out before we go in. But yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's get into Respect Part 1. Can't wait for this moment. I actually get to use the Natsuki voice, finally. <laughs> it's been several weeks since the club has officially started. Through their initial setbacks, the three club members so far, Monica, Sayori, and Yuri, have increased their collective bond within the club. Sayori has partaken in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature, and all three of them, led by Sayori, have taken an interest in poetry. On a day like any other, the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the club room door opening, and in walks a girl none of them have seen before. <clears throat> Hi? Sayori so tugs excitedly at Monica's sleeve. Yuri shifts in her seat and buries her eyes in her book. Are you here for the literature club? But yeah. Yay, that's great. Thanks for stopping by. It's kind of a small club still, so it's really exciting to see new faces. Yeah, come and sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Sayori so prances over to her desk and presses her palms onto it. Oh, and Yuri, can you make some tea? Uh, Yuri looks up at Sayori in protest for having drawn attention to her. Natsuki silently glances between everyone, then sits down next to Sayori. Monica follows by sitting nearby. The sudden gathering prompts Yuri to stand up, deciding that standing in the corner and making tea doesn't sound so bad after all. Okay, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay. I'm sorry, it's- it's- I can't get her voice unless she's screaming something. Well, I'm Monica. I'm one who started the club. I was originally in the debate club, but I really wanted to do something I felt more passionate about, if that makes sense. So I started the literature club as a way for people to express themselves through writing or reading or whatever other kind of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. <laughs> I have what vibe? Oh, you know, like, never mind. I'm not gonna judge people I just met like that. Very adult-like of you. I always judge people so hard. Oh, no, you don't, Sayori. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Yuri's deadpan voice carries across the room. Natsuki giggles. I'm Sayori. I just like learning about everyone and making friends. Oh, and I also like poetry. Oh, yeah? Very adult-like of you. <laughs> I'm an adult. The sound of Yuri's electric kettle steaming up fills the room. Oh, that's Yuri. So Yuri lowers her voice. She's kind of shy, but she's really nice and super smart. She likes big fantasy books and tea. And I love her. Well, I guess that leaves me then. I'm Natsuki. I like listening to music and hanging out downtown and stuff. And my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Ooh, let's get ice cream. My favorite flavor is probably cookie dough or maybe chocolate. 
It's cookie dough. And Monica's is probably... probably vanilla? What the heck? I take way too many online quizzes. The ice cream ones are always accurate. What's Yuri's favorite? Natsuki shrugs. Probably green tea. <laughs> I'm just joking. I have no idea for Yuri. Still, it's pretty chill here. Do you just like hang out or do you actually do club stuff? Uh, well, we do club stuff too. It just hasn't been very structured yet since we only have like three members. So we kind of just loosely spend our time doing the stuff we like. But I keep thinking it's about time we start with like some more structured club activities. It's been a while by now since I started the club, so yeah. Well, with that being said, what kind of literature are you into, Natsuki? Anything you'd like the club to get into? Uh, well, I guess I'm literature... Well, I like manga. Manga? Hey! Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I want to read manga in the club. Wait, hold on a second. That sounds so great. Like, after all I've been doing, all this... Um, Yuri returns to the desk with a tray of teacups, which she sets down on an empty desk. After all of the deep and immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing something a little more simple. Manga isn't simple. If you think that, you just don't understand the nuance. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Well, anyway, putting manga aside, is there any other kind of literature that you're interested in? Well, not really. In that case, have you considered the anime club? Damn, Monica just straight up just doesn't want Manga to be a part of the club. What the f like? Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club. It's full of weird guys. Come on. Is it that big of a deal? Manga is literature, right? Um, I mean, I guess if you consider the literal definition of literature, then technically... I get it. Look, I'll do whatever club activities you want. Can I please just join? I won't bother anyone. If I could just, like, keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to do. That's fine, right? Yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, thank you! You're the best! I have most of it crammed into my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it, okay? Natsuki stands up. Need some help? Nah, I got it. I don't want you to see my locker. <laughs> if you say so. But there's no way it's worse than mine. I hope we never find out then. Natsuki exits the club room, leaving everyone in silence. Save for the sound of Yuri sipping her tea. Uh, I'm such a pushover. Hey, it's not that bad. Natsuki seems like a lot of fun. Maybe, but I mean, she has like no actual interest in literature, you know? And that's normally fine, but she said she would participate in club activities like it's some kind of obligation. Her tea is going to get cold. Yeah. Wait, that's not related. Well, I think everyone deserves a chance. Especially if we can bring happiness to her. 